Have you been letting the worry about messing something up with consolidating your loans keep you from doing it? It's like you're smart as hell, but somehow you could make a massive mistake that will feel like a punch in the face because you never learned what you need to do to consolidate your loans. What exactly is student loan consolidation? Student loan consolidation is basically when you combine multiple loans into one big loan. Depending on how your college dispersed your financial aid, you may have a new loan or more than one for every single semester of college. When you consolidate your loans, you turn those multiple loans into one big loan with one fixed interest rate. So what should you make sure you don't do when consolidating your loans? The biggest thing you want to avoid is consolidating your loans if you're working on any type of loan forgiveness that's income driven. So that would be the income driven loan forgiveness program, which is 20 to 25 years of income driven payments or public service loan forgiveness. And the reason you don't want to consolidate is because it essentially resets your entire forgiveness clock. Your direct consolidation loan is a brand new loan, so you'll have to start making payments on it all over again. What should you do instead? You should continue to make your same payments in the same plan that you're already in if you've made any eligible payments toward forgiveness. Don't plan on getting an interest rate discount. When you consolidate your loans, it doesn't lower your interest rate. Your new interest rate is the weighted average of all of your loans. You can count on having a fixed interest rate that won't change the whole time you're repaying your student loan. Don't pay any type of fee or work through any company other than the U.S. Department of Education to consolidate your federal loans. This application is free and easy to fill out, so don't pay someone to consolidate your federal loans. Save that money for making payments. What you should do instead is fill out the direct consolidation loan application on the studentloan.gov website. I'll link it below. Don't let interest wipe you out. When you consolidate your student loan, you can have a much longer repayment term than you would have been able to when you had many individual loans. That can be nice if you need to stretch out your monthly payment a bit. But by doing so, you could end up paying a lot more interest than you would have if you would have paid off your loans more quickly while they were individual loans. Instead, you should take a look at the different repayment plans and the amount of interest you'll pay under each one. Find a plan that gives you a monthly payment you can afford and minimizes the amount of interest you'll pay. Don't lose your six month grace period if you still need it. When you consolidate your student loans, Payments will start 60 days after that loan consolidation is made. So that means if you did it right when you graduated, you could potentially end up having to pay 60 or so days after graduation, rather than being able to wait out the six month grace period before you had to start making payments, which is totally fine if you're ready to make those payments. But if you were counting on six months, it could be a rude awakening. What you should do instead, if you need that six months, is indicate on your loan consolidation application that you would like them to delay consolidation until closer to the end of your six month grace period. This will keep your six month grace period free of payments so you can look for a job and get yourself financially set to start paying back your student loans. Have you ever considered consolidating your student loans? Let me know in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful and give you the confidence you need if consolidation is the right choice for you. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get weekly updates. There's a new video every Wednesday. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.